Well, good morning, and I'm glad that you can join me again for another lesson in our series, Unshakable Faith. I commend you for uh, making some time and, and blocking out a place where you can sit down and contemplate God's Word with me. What it takes to be an extremely strong, faithful disciple, no matter what your situation is. So, if you'd like to pause the video right now and go and, and get some study materials, if you want to get your Bible, uh, you can print out the handout that was attached to the email that had this uh, YouTube link in it, uh, pencil, something to write with, make notes on your handout, then now's the time to do it, and just pause me and then just come right back. Okay, so uh, let's do a quick uh, review of last week. We studied about what we might call the first family of faith. We've been going through Hebrews chapter 11, which is, we, we call that kind of the faith hall of fame. And so the first family of faith was Abraham and Sarah, this, this couple that uh, did at least, you know, two great acts of faith that characterized their life. I hate to call them an act because it, you know, kind of stretched over a long big chunk of their life. And, and first of all is, is when God told them to leave their culture, leave their families, to go out to a place that he would show them and he would give it to them as an inheritance. He would make them a great nation. And most importantly, they would be a blessing to all people. God said, I will bless you and you will, you will bless others. So that's what they did. And, and then God told them that, that they would have a, a, you know, a big family, a lot of children, a, a, you know, a, a, they would become the ancestors of an uncountable multitude. And, and that really didn't happen for them for a very long time. They only had one child and that was, uh, you know, very, very late in life. So they had to patiently wait uh, for God's promise to be fulfilled. We, we talked about one of the secrets of, of these uh, faith giants was they lived their life with a very long-term vision. It, it, it wasn't an idea of, we'll build a career, we'll build a fortune, we'll build a home, we'll build a family. Uh, those things may have been, you know, steps along the way, but their, their real vision is that they were looking forward to a city, as the Hebrew writer puts it, whose architect and builder is God. And the Hebrew writer argues that this was not a, an earthly city. It, it was not a place where they could sell their tents, build a house or buy a house, move in, and there they would be. No, this was a heavenly city where they would be at home with God, the city whose architect and builder is God. So, you know, this, this stuff about Abraham and Sarah wandering around in the Middle East, you know, uh, 4,000 years ago, you may say, well, what does that have to do with me today in the, in the 21st century? I think we can learn a lot from them, and, and I think the writers of, of the New Testament books thought so too because they put, the, put Abraham in there a great deal. But I, I want to bring it home a little bit closer, and so today I'd like to share uh, an interview that I conducted just a couple of days ago with a person that's in my faith hall of fame, and that's Sister uh, Judy Cooper. Judy's a mother and a grandmother, but she's also a widow, and uh, she she exhibited huge faith, in, in my opinion, and, and working with her husband's illness, which, which stretched over decades, frankly, and uh, continues to be one of the most active uh, Christians that I know of, full of, full of good works all, all the time. So let me just share that with you, and then we'll come back and, and hit some of Hebrews 11, verses 13 through 16 for today. 